Hey everyone, this is Libby Flanagan. and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this mobile chicken coop. Um, we decided to make a mobile chicken coop so that our girls could get fresh grass every day without being out in the yard with our dog. Um, so stay tuned and I'll show you all the features that it has and exactly how we built it. Alright, so you're going to start by framing up your coop. On the bottom here we're using 2 by 4s and we did 4 feet by 10 feet. Coming up the sides we have 2 by 2s and those are 4 feet tall. After you've framed this portion, you're gonna to wanna to frame the part of the coop that is indoors. And you start by putting on the bottom and then a piece of plywood is gonna go on top of that. And you're gonna frame up the rest of the indoor portions of the coop. Um, next, we framed the roof. You actually might wanna frame the doors of the coop first. That would be a little easier, um, but uh, we framed the roof and then the doors, that worked okay. Next, we framed up the laying box and got that all situated with a piece of plywood on bottom and top. Next, we used T11 plywood to make these sides and the doors so everything would match from the exterior and finished up framing up the run of the coop. We made the run pieces 22 inches apart so that the chicken wire will fit perfectly between them and put us a little bit of trim on there to make it look nice. Now we're, fill we're creating the frame for the sliding door. Just put some little slits in some pieces of two by two and then run the door between them so that it slides. Put a little handle on it and the ladder for the chickens to get up to the coop door and you want to put your rungs between 6 and 12 inches apart. Next we're going to be adding the wheels. We got these wheels from Tractor Supply. If I find a link I'll put it down in the description below. But we have these wheels. Um, of course you need a bolt um, and some washers to do that. Next we applied a coat of exterior primer. We wanted to make sure everything has a nice seal and this coop's going to last a really long time. So we put this primer on everywhere, even up underneath the coop um, to make sure it's well sealed. And you see here we put some plywood on and we end up using metal roofing. We originally thought we were going to be using shingles, so that's why we have that plywood on the roof. Um, so you could leave that off, it's not required. After we finish up the primer, we realized we forgot to frame the little door so that a person can get into the coop, so we're just framing that up and putting the hinges on here. Next we're using a spray gun to spray paint. Um, the final color of the coop. We picked this color because it's kind of similar to the color of the clay in our backyard, so it's going to blend in really nice. And big shout out to our friend Evan here who is helping us out and letting us borrow a lot of his tools to get this thing done. Thank you so much, Evan. This spray gun was really nice and helped us get all the corners quickly and easily and gave everything a nice, good coat. And we were able to do two coats in one day just because of how quickly it dries. It gives a nice, thin coat to everything and it ended up looking so good afterwards. Overall, this project took us about, I wanna say, one week to complete, but I was working, you know, working on it after work. So um, probably only about 20 hours, I would say. After we let those two coats dry, we moved back into the garage so that we could work on putting on the chicken wire and the roofing. To do this, we used a pneumatic stapler and some wire clippers in order to get that chicken wire attached on there tightly. We're just putting a little strip down here at the bottom from the gap that the wheels leave from holding the coop up so that nothing can get in underneath. You want to be make sure you're very predator proof. And we started with putting wire underneath the indoor part of the coop to make sure we had the most access as possible to that area. And the trick here is you want to staple one side and then pull it really tight the other way and then staple that side. Um, that gives it a nice, flat, even look um, when you're done. We stapled everything on the inside so that you couldn't see any of the staples um, from the outside and it gives it a really nice look. So we just did that all the way around in between our framing pieces. And we did put those 22 inches apart so that our chicken wire would fit perfectly between them. You can see my husband here working on the metal roofing. He's getting that looking quite nice while we're finishing up the wire. And then lastly, I just put in some finishing touches like the swing, the water, and the feeder. And we put on a little latch here at the very end, and that was it. All right, so now that it is done, I'm ready to show you all the features of the coop. 
Um, the first one is right here. We just wanted to make a door for easy access so I can get in and change the food and water. It has a little latch to keep it secure. Um, and then inside you'll notice a few things. We have a feeder and a waterer. Um, I decided to go with these two and I will, I bought them both on Amazon so I'll link them down in the description box below. Um, but I decided to go with these two because they keep the food and water clean so you can load up a lot in here and it will stay good for a long time and not have to change it every day. Um, which will be really useful for us in case we ever go on any weekend trips or anything like that. Um, they, the chickens also have a little swing in here that they can enjoy and play around. Um, they are birds so they do enjoy that kind of thing. And there is one more little swing, I'm not sure if you can see it, right here underneath the coop. Just a rope um, that they can play on and hang out so they can really enjoy their time here in the coop. Um, and the last thing that's inside is a little ladder um, up to the door which has a feature I will show you now. Um, so we have these little ropes that hang on the outside of the door so that you don't have to go inside to let them out every day. You can just simply use these ropes, um, little blocks keep it from going all the way through. You can use these ropes to open and close the door um, from the outside of the coop so it makes it a little bit easier to access and all that. Next feature is on the back of the coop. Now you want to make this door nice and big because that will allow you to clean out the coop um, much easier. It's going to be really easy to reach in here, get a broom and clean everything out. Also notice we didn't include any lip on this back so that we can really easily just sweep everything out and sweep all the waste and um, pine shavings um, into a wheelbarrow or something so that we can put it in our um, compass. And then there is a little roost up on the top. You want to give them somewhere to sleep at night. They do sleep um, like hanging onto something standing up. And a lot of people have told me that you only need one roost. Wherever the top chicken goes is where all of them are going to want to sleep. So they'll all sleep right next to each other on that roost. So this is a really good feature to include a nice big door so that it is easy to clean. Of course, you want to have latches on everything um, to make sure that no predators can get inside your coop. And then lastly, over here, you'll notice that we only have one laying box. Um, chickens will all lay in the same box um, as the chicken that's at the top of the pecking order. So, and you only need one box per five chickens. We're only planning on having four. So this one laying box will be plenty for them four. And a lot of, you'll see on a lot of coops that the laying box opens from the roof. Um, this can actually kind of freak the chickens out if they're in there laying and you open it up. They have a lot of predators that come from the sky. It's actually nicer for them if you have the opening to, um, from the side. So light never gets in there and it stays nice and dark and safe. And they really like this. Um, you want to make sure your laying box is somewhere dark, quiet, and cool so that red girls will all enjoy it. And that is it for all the features on our coop. I'm so excited to be getting hens in the next couple weeks. And I'll definitely do a video so that you guys can meet all the ladies. Thanks for hanging out.